It's it's something in the mentality that wants to self destruct. You cannot. Well, I wouldn't say everyone. I've got plenty of ad, uh, uh, advocates in Israel, uh, but not enough. So, Barry, what is the, uh, for lack of a better word, the the end game? What what are they hoping to accomplish in the modern state of Israel? With well, that's this? where the real problem comes. The Sabbateans did not get their Sabbatean state. Torah Judaism and religious Judaism, they know by all demographic um, um, surveys, is going to be Israel. And they could care less if Israel uh, gets chopped up into nothing or not. What the real problem with this so-called Oslo Peace Accord, and again, in my books, I've covered that uh, well, like nobody's business. I mean, that's that's not the point. The chorus is in tack on the religious. That's what it is to drive the religious out of their homes. Look, if you think this two-state solution was the only solution, you're very wrong. Very wrong. It's the only solution left because that's what the powers that be have decided. There were plenty of plenty of uh, attempts at reconciliation uh, between the religious Jews and the religious Arabs. The Arabs saw tremendous advantages in the Jews returning to Israel for the region and for their pocketbooks. They killed well, Israel Dahan. The first assassination in Israel was by the Sabbateans against a religious Jew who was, in fact, working with religious Muslims to come up with a solution they could both live with. What people don't understand is bringing Arafat back into the equation, creating Hamas, in short, the Oslo so-called peace accord, or what you may call the roadmap, is a guaranteed, guaranteed end of Israel, and, well, need I say it, the chances of another Holocaust in Israel, whether by a missile with a, an atomic bomb on it, or whether by just winning a war against Israel, another six million Jews, uh, well, their lives are, are, are simply at stake uh, from, from everything we've stated before. Israel is likely to be eliminated thoroughly in the next two days to 20 years. You don't know when, but the fact remains the Sabbateans who founded Israel failed in their mission to create a Sabbatean state and the leadership of Israel has been playing ball with the worst enemies of Israel, which, again, you can call the Illuminati and the Sabbateans. I'll just say you call it the Vatican and you call it the CFR. Those are the two primary primary um, enemies of Israel right now, and my books show the plotting between these two groups who, by the way, have the same ultimate goal. They just disagree on who takes what from the rubble, how this is going to be the end of Israel. And you know what? To get the Jews to understand this, I would say the odds of me succeeding are approximately the odds of putting um, a Mexican on the moon within a year. <laughs> Well, well, okay. Let, let me clarify something now. So you're saying that when we hear like this, the UN seems to be really, really serious about getting some sort of peace done really, really soon. So we can translate that as why the say, UN? Who says anything about the UN? Well, I mean, they, just, they have these these like declarations that you know it's the UN going is to happen. Absolutely powerless. Well, we're right, but what I'm saying is that should we translate this, these calls for peace now? We must have peace. It's absolutely in, in, uh, Who's necessary. Who's calling for that? Oh, you know what the I'm American saying. The American administration of the Vatican. Right. So so does that translate to um, 
to the end of Israel. Let, let's get this because it means it spells the end of Israel if we can pass this quote, 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 unquote. Well, Israel's been chopping itself up. You you have to look at the map of Israel in, in 1973 uh, where there, were, uh, there was 47,000 square miles that Israel controlled. And again, compared to today, the terrorism was nothing back then. Uh, now it's about 9,000 square miles. It's going to be chopped down. Uh, uh, if the West Bank is turned over to PLO, it will be down to 7,000 square miles. Israel's being chopped into non-existence right now. 7,000 square miles is, a, a, I guess, about the landmass of, well, Connecticut. Okay, let me ask you this, and this will be the final thing, and I want to talk a little bit about your newest book too, but let me ask you this about um, the Iran thing. It seems like you know terrorism is real, obviously, and, and Israel is in, under tremendous danger from all sides. But then we see this kind of like weird war drums being beat by not just J, J Net and all that stuff, but also Hillary Clinton and all this stuff. What is the reason for the disinformation or the war drums being beaten? That what do we? Can yeah, we yeah, like Israel is going to unilaterally bomb Iran. Israel would have to overfly uh, the American Air Force in in Iraq. Or, or Saudi Arabia, the close American ally, Saudi Arabia. Israel can't even get to Iran. Uh, this is absolute nonsense. The only way Israel could uh, bomb Iran is if uh, Russia or, or, or the Central American, one Central uh, Asian Republic gave them an air base, which isn't going to happen. And now the, oh, or, of course, you have a dogfight knock down these, the American Air Force over Iraq. Israel is not going to attack Iran. This is utter nonsense. It cannot be done in ways that we know about. All right. The American administration is extremely hostile to Israel. Extremely. And they backed Israel into a corner. And this nonsense about settlements can't expand. You may think that's nothing. Imagine if you, in your neighborhood, uh, you couldn't expand. You had a you had a couple of children. They want to move near to you. You're not allowed to build a house for them. Uh, just imagine you were restricted, and that your life was restricted to that. Israel is saying natural expansion. Uh, the Obama administration is saying, get them damn settlers out of there. Like, you're going to displace 300,000 people who have every right to be there. It's a first-class mess. It's a mess that may never be solved. But the problem is Israel is surrounded by rockets, surrounded by them. Hezbollah has... Well, what well, I've been reading, about 40,000. Uh, Hamas will, again, the Egyptians will supply the Gaza Strip and Hamas with lots and lots of rockets. Uh, uh, Israel's at war with Egypt, and nobody understands that as well. Syria has not just got rockets. They've got chemical, biological. They can put all kinds of stuff on the warheads. Israel is surrounded Oh, 80,000 rockets, uh, at least. Israel cannot take a hit of 80,000 rockets. Can't do it. Uh, uh, right now, uh, this has been going on, what, for five, seven years, that the south of Israel is uninhabitable from, uh, uninhabitable from Hamas rockets. Uh, a few years ago, uh, Hezbollah attacked the north of Israel, Everyone left. The place was uninhabitable. uninhabitable. Wait till you see when the whole place becomes uninhabitable. And it's not, I'm not guessing here. Uh, there is a real chance that even limited conventional uh, rocket attacks can bring down Israel. Barry, you uh, have been doing a lot of shows with uh, Stan Monteith on Radio Liberty. And yeah, sometimes really three great. times a week. And uh, you, you've been doing some uh, some like research projects on there, and they're really informative on, on specific topics and about the latest that's going on, and you know delving into the history and stuff like that. So that's a good place to keep up with what's going on as far as um, you know just recent. Sure, RadioLiberty.com. 
uh, listen online and you'll see uh, my latest uh, interviews. Look, this interview that uh, we just did is very complicated and confusing. And now, uh, you know, nothing said against you, but you chose it. Uh, most people will not be able, unless they listen over and over again and actually follow it up and actually get my books and so forth, they won't be able to follow it. It's it's an accurate rewriting of Jewish history. That's not an easy task for most people. Right. But it's needed, and I think it, uh, you know, shouldn't sell them short. I think it's just a matter of getting it out there, and I think that, that you're doing a good job of that. It just, uh, it, it, well, let's uh, push it a little bit harder, see if we can get it to more and more people. That's uh, really the best well, thing. Well, I do. appreciate that, and I certainly hear an optimism in your voice that uh, uh, you actually believe it'll help, and sure, why not? Maybe 